Okay, welcome to the Win Wing main instrument panel setup video. Um, I'm going to apologize for a couple of things right off the bat. Number one, the webcam footage that's about to pop up. Uh, the quality on it's really poor, and I didn't realize that the the image was mirrored. So you will see that uh, video of the actual MIP itself is, is going to be backwards, so I apologize for that, but I'm not going to go back and re-record it. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so here we're going to get started with the setup. Uh, I've got the MIP mounted, um, probably where it's going to end up, but I may tweak it a little bit. But anyway, it's good enough to, to get things going. Um, I do have all of the USBs connected to a powered hub, but it is not connected to the PC yet. So I'm about to plug that in and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I think the first thing we're going to do is install the display link drivers. So I'm just going to Google display link and then click on the downloads. And then we'll go for Windows. And then we're going to go download. Upgrade here. And finish. Okay, let's see if our displays are showing up. I just right clicked on the desktop and do display settings. Uh, and we're not seeing the monitors here yet. So let's see what we've got going on there. I'm just going to give the computer a quick restart, uh, see if that does anything. Okay, so we're back after a reboot, and it looks like we do have the displays uh, recognized here. They're all pulling up um, with just my Windows background. So let's go in here and fix those. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change them all to the portrait uh, mode. I don't know if this is required, but it helps fix my ADD a little bit. I don't like uh, looking at those being off, so let's change them all to portrait. And there we go, and I th you can arrange these if you want to. In fact, let's go ahead and do that just so it makes a little more sense. Uh, so four is going to be the one over here. That didn't work. And apply. That way, my mouse, if I need to get my mouse over those screens, I can do that a little more efficiently. Maybe. There we go. Now we can get the mouse on the right screen if we need to. And we'll close out of that. And now let's fire up SimApp Pro. Well, oh, we're going to have to update. So we're going to go ahead and update SimApp Pro. Okay, so now we're back. We've got our UFC showing up. Uh, 
the MFDs. And then for the displays, we're going to go over here to this MFD display tab. Uh, so now we've got three options here, and then you can see on the screens it's pulled up with an ID. So we're just going to match the ID uh, to those numbers. So I've got 011 over here on my left, 013 on the right, and uh, 012 on the bottom. And then we're going to click Activate. Got the successful activation. Um, let's uh, let's check out the device to see if there's any settings we want to change here. This is the UFC. Uh, we've got our axes all seem to be uh, working. Um, I don't think there's anything we want to adjust here. Maybe the backlight. Let's set the backlighting to sync with DCS. back out of this one uh, let's take a look at the DDI's so that's good for this one we want the top ones to be set to an encoder let's see which one this one is okay that's gonna be the bottom one okay so this one I actually want to change over to um, to be an axis So now you can see we've got an axis here. So uh, we'll see if that sticks or uh, save it. Nope, not that. So I tried this uh, once before on my other computer and this didn't seem to stick as an axis. So we'll see if it works better on this one. And then the third DDI we've got set up as an encoder. So we'll leave that one. Okay, we're back here in Simap Pro. I did want to point out one thing real quick. Um, I had some issues when I plugged my VR headset back in, loading DCS, it would just crash. Uh, so what I had to do to fix that was come in here and kind of turn off the MFD displays. Uh, so to do that, you're going to come over to the MFD display screen and then just make sure that you do not have an ID selected on all of the units here and then just click activate. Uh, that's going to overwrite that uh, display information in the file and allow you to load the game in VR. Uh, currently, DCS will not export the DDI screens uh, in VR mode. Hopefully, they change that at some point uh, when mixed reality becomes uh, a little more prevalent. Uh, it's really one thing that I went ahead and purchased the screens for was for that mixed reality capability at some point. Uh, so again, just remember, if you're going to go back and forth between 2D and VR, you're going to have to come in here and, and either activate these for 2D or deactivate them for uh, VR. So... Just wanted to point that out. It did cause me some issues with crashing there before I uh, came in here and, and turned them off. Okay, we got DCS loading up here. Um, I've had some issues with DCS crashing. I think it is a conflict with OBS, which is a software I'm using to capture all this. Uh, it's crashed on me a couple of times. Um, I, it, it has not crashed with the OBS off. So I think that's going to be the majority of the issue. Um, I do have everything bound uh, and ready to go here. So uh, we're going to check some things out. One thing I do want to mention here real quick is the uh, presets here, the monitors and the resolution. Um, I wouldn't mess with any of this. Uh, that's set by that activate button in SimApp Pro. Uh, it's also adjusting your, uh, your monitor Lua file in the DCS root directory. Um, so here, I'll show you where that is real quick. So if we go to our uh, root DCS directory, and then we go to config, monitor setup, and then this WWT monitor is the file it created. So this is actually what uh, determines where the M MF uh, DDI screens and then your main screen are so uh, if everything's right then I would leave this alone if you need to adjust some stuff then this is going to where you're going to want to come do that and then after you get this right you probably want to back this file up uh, because if you hit that activate button in SimApp Pro it's going to overwrite this again so uh, just be a little careful there with that uh, so let's load up an instant action here we'll do the F18 ready on ramp and see where we're at
Okay, so here we go. Looks like all our screens are up. Looks like the uh, UFC is working. Let's see what we got here. Oh, well, that's the one thing I haven't bound yet. So uh, hold on, I'm going to pause the recording and come back after I uh, bind the UFC. Okay, so we're back. Looks like we got our UFCs. There we go. So we got our presets there sliding through. Uh, set our tack in. HSI. And turn attack in on. And there we go. So that looks like everything is uh, good to go here. We got our brightness knob working. Brightness knob here. So relatively straightforward. Uh, like I said, I think the crashing issue I had was just due to. Uh, OBS uh, having some sort of conflict there so uh, if I find a solution for that or hear anything I'll post an update video but uh, there you go for the setup it was relatively straightforward uh, pretty simple and looks like everything's working well so if you guys do decide to get it um, overall impressions the the equipment's very good uh, setup was was relatively easy uh, I expected to get the software to get better as they develop it but even right out of the box you know day one everything seems to be working uh, relatively well the fit and finish is excellent uh, the feel of the buttons is extremely nice uh, they've done a great job with this and you know i think anybody that picks this up is going to be extremely happy with it so i hope you enjoyed the videos and hope it helps thanks